time once again to look at some 12 inch G.I. Joe slash Action Man Hall of Fame figures. This is Snake Eyes who was in the first series. This one was in the shop when I bought Duke and my little brother got Cobra Commander. And I didn't want this Snake Eyes because it didn't look like the Snake Eyes that I remembered. This is based off version four of Snake Eyes where he dropped the complete black look, added a splash of blue to his pretty drab wardrobe. And I don't know, because I didn't have any knowledge of that look of Snake Eyes as a child, I kind of just dismissed it as, well, that's not Snake Eyes, I'll get Duke instead. And oddly, that's like a grudge I've held against this figure ever since then. And that is just stupid and wrong. And I'm glad I picked this up because this looks awesome. He's much more of a commando than he is a ninja, but that doesn't make him any less cool. This is probably, yeah, this might be my favorite that I've got so far. And that is so odd, considering that in 1992, I wanted nothing to do with it. You know what it is, the next time someone accuses me of being immature, I'm gonna be like, listen here, butt face, I've got a doll that I didn't like as a kid, and I actually like it now. So who's immature now, eh? Fuck, it's still me, innit? Now this is quite an odd one, because when I bought this, it was, I got this rock and roll and stalker, all at the same time, all from the same seller. He cut me an amazing deal, and I was buzzing with it. But he said that this and his Rock and Roll had upgraded bodies. So they've got better elbows, they've got wrist swivel, they've got wrist pivot, they've got nicer knees. And it's like, if I was gonna be an absolute purist with this, then maybe I shouldn't count this as Snake Eyes because it has the Snake Eyes gear and the Snake Eyes head. But everything else is, is it, oh man, I never said that out loud and now it doesn't count. I need another Snake Eyes. This is something I really wish I included on my Destro figure because I have the classified Destro, the most current Snake Eyes available versus the 1992 12 inch doll version. I keep thinking about stuff that I wanted to include from like even the first video with Duke and realizing that I've left them out. But you know, I'm just a really shoddy YouTuber. So that's bound to happen. See, so yeah, it's a little late, but there is classified Destro next to Hall of Fame 12 inch Destro. Very, very similar look. Silver heat, black and red outfit, but this one doesn't have fabulous shoulder pads. You missed an out, pal. So yeah, the classified version is definitely the version of Snake Eyes that I identify with more. It's the uh, version two of Snake Eyes, and the one that I had as a kid. But yeah, if you didn't know these were both Snake Eyes, you probably wouldn't pair them up as Snake Eyes. They don't really share a whole lot in common. They've both got a katana, they've both got black trousers, and uh, they've both got a knife. But that is it. The classified version doesn't have an Uzi. It's got a gun similar to an Uzi, but it isn't an actual Uzi. Then again, 12 inch doll doesn't have an actual Uzi. So maybe they do share that as well. But yeah, I'm just glad I'm in a place where I can accept both of these as Snake Eyes. Because um, I'm not a huge G.I. Joe fan. And as such, I don't feel like I have a right to be a gatekeeper on Snake Eyes in any way, shape or form. I'm just going off nostalgia and you know, that's not worth a whole lot, really. Bye, Snake Eyes. One last size comparison. Um, Trixie's got a brand new, what's that? It's a fucking monkey. So let's see how it Trixie Man. So on the runway tonight, Snake Eyes is serving his special issue soft sole commando boots. He's sporting an FBP all weather half pint backpack. The katana can kind of store in the backpack. It's a bit floppy and a bit strange, but I suppose that counts as weapon storage. This is his US military TLVD outer vest, and that is layered over a Kevlar protective vest underneath there. And of course, he's wearing a face mask with protective goggles. Snake Eyes is a super secret ninja, so we don't know his field number, and we don't know his real name. Mysterious. And apparently, this uh, lovely fabric suit this is Mylar Reinforced Ninja Combat Suit. It's not just like cheap fabric at all. It is Mylar. I These aren't picked out on his data file, but he's got like these awesome looking gauntlet things with some kanji on. I've no idea what that says. I really wish I did, because I could insert what it says here and seem more cultured and intelligent than I actually am. The Snake Eyes' is main accessory is this hugely oversized, stylized Uzi, I suppose. And will these 28 to 29 year old batteries work? You know they do! Red lights and the classic. Ah oh man, that noise. Just my childhood in a nutshell. Electronic machine gun noises. 
He has his ninja clan katana. He's a little bit bent and warped, but um, I'm hoping. That'll be fixed in a few days, thanks to my good mate Rich coming up with a spare one. And he has an absolutely lethal looking, brutal knife in the sheath. Nasty, serrated bits on one side, monstrous. G.I. Joe on the handle, lovely stuff. So here he is, all tooled up and ready to go. Uzi submachine gun in hand, dog tags on, katana sloppily stored in his backpack, gauntlets on, nasty knife strapped in his thigh. This face visor is removable. So you can get a sneaky look at what Snake Eyes actually looks like under here. Oh no, he's got a mask on. Yeah, interestingly, I've researched this a little bit, and if this is wrong, I am so apologetic. Like, the most apologetic man on earth. But I think this Snake Eyes, this 1992 Snake Eyes, is the very first G.I. Joe to not have the trademark scar on his cheek. This scar is over his eye, which is a lovely place to have a scar. And that's gonna mess up his profile on plenty of fish or grinder, I don't know. I don't judge, whichever one he wants to be on. Trendsetter. I reckon if I knew that was underneath there as a child, I might have asked to have this one instead of Duke. And then, you know, butterfly effect, who knows how different my life could have been. I might have been successful with a good job. I might have ended up living on the streets. Begging for change. You just don't know. You just don't know.